Hello there guys and welcome back to another Epic in Extra Maths video. In this video I want to tell you guys a story. I want to tell you a story about the five-year-old mathematician at the time called Gauss. Gauss is one of the most influential mathematicians to ever live. And the story goes that as a five-year-old boy when he was in a maths lesson, his teacher was giving the class some sums to do, adding up things, you know, various numbers, whatever they were, and Gauss was doing them a little bit too fast which annoyed his teacher. And so Gauss's teacher said, Gauss, I'm going to give you a really hard problem because you're too good. You are far too good. So I'm going to give you this really hard problem and it's going to shut you up for a while because this is going to take you ages because it doesn't matter how good at maths you are, it's just going to take you a long time to do this. And the problem that Gauss's maths teacher gave to Gauss when Gauss was allegedly five years old was to add up one plus two plus three plus four plus five plus six plus all the way up to 100 add up the first 100 numbers together add them all up it's a very simple problem and anyone could do it given enough time i think but it would take ages let's all agree it doesn't matter how good at maths you are if you actually just try to straight up do this it would take you a really long time but gauss because of course he's not just faster arithmetic he's also a good mathematician even as a five-year-old allegedly Gauss came up with an idea of how to do this without really adding anything together at all. Only a few things. So what Gauss did was he labelled this sum of numbers. He doesn't know what it's equal to yet, but he's going to label it. And we can call it whatever we want. Let's just call it X. Let's call it X. Some people might use an S or something like that, but we're just going to use an X. He said that whatever the answer is, that's X. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for X. What is it? Well, you could just add up 100 numbers, but it would take you ages. So this is what Gauss did. Gauss said, what if I rewrite X? What if I say that X is equal to something else? The same thing, but just written in a different way. So what Gauss did was he rewrote this answer, this whole, this sum backwards in reverse order. So instead of going from 1 to 100, he goes from 100 to 1. So he goes, he says that x is equal to 100 plus 99 plus 98 plus 97 plus 96 plus 95 all the way down to 1. Okay. Do we agree? I hope that we agree that these two definitions of x will give you the exact same answer. All we've done for this second definition of x is we've rewritten the sum the other way around. But we know that when you add things up, it doesn't matter which order you add things, right? So if you add 100 plus 99 plus 98, etc., you're going to get the same answer as if you add 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to 100, etc. As long as there's the same number of terms, and the same numbers are being added together, you're going to get the same answer, right? Because addition is commutative. It means that you can do it in any order that you like. So this is fine, surely, right? So now, this is the really cool thing that Gauss realized as a five-year-old, allegedly. He realized that if you add the top equation to the bottom equation, something very cool happens. So x plus x, that's the left-hand side, we get two lots of x. We're going to add these equations up. And on the right-hand side, we're simply going to add each term individually. So 1 plus 100, 2 plus 99, 3 plus 98, you get the idea. But watch what happens on this right-hand side. The first calculation we're going to do is 1 plus 100. Well, that's not too bad. That's just 101, right? So it's 101 plus. The second thing that we're going to do is we're going to add 2 to 99. Well, what's 2 plus 99? Oh, it's, it's 101. 101. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to do 3 plus 98. But that's 101 as well. What's 4 plus 97? Oh, 101. What's 5 plus 96? 101. What's 6 plus 95? 101. And we do this, and you get 101 for every single term. Finally, you get 100 plus 1, which is clearly 101. And so what Gauss realized was that two lots of the answer that he's looking for, two lots of x, is simply equal to 101 a hundred times, which is a hundred times 101. So two lots of x, x is what he's looking for, 
is simply 100 lots of 101. And all you've got to do now is rearrange and solve for x. So x is equal to 100 times 101 divided by 2, isn't it? Dividing both sides by 2. And that means that x is equal to 50 times 101. And that means that x must be equal to, and you just do 50 times 101, you just work that out. That's one calculation, and it gives you 5,050. Isn't that genius? So the answer to, uh, to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, all the way up to 100, is 5,050. And Gauss allegedly did this in a matter of seconds, which absolutely blew his teacher's mind. I think, personally, that that is absolutely awesome. I think it's a really, really cool thing. And this is actually where the formula um, for arithmetic sums comes from. We'll look at that in another video. But this is awesome. So that's how a five-year-old boy added up 100 numbers in a few seconds. Thank you guys so much for watching. I highly appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.